Okay, uh, god damn it. Hold on, let me, let me do it this way. Let me type in any eye, just the word die, and then let me double click. Wait, did they get rid of that feature? What? You used to be able to double click inside of any eye to turn the box yellow, and what it would do is it would grey out anything that wasn't, like, named, the same thing that you typed in the box. But it's not letting me do that anymore. It's just, it's gone. Oh, that was such a good utility feature. What the fuck? Why would they get rid of that? Because they just don't like you, Drifter. Uh, okay, I just realized something. I just like lost like a stack of wool somewhere. Okay, good in job, dumbass. I've lost many things in the void. My will. Okay, I have a mystical sanity. black flower. So what I can do with that is I can turn that into a black petal and I can then uh, crush the black petal into black dye. So just get me some get me some white dye prepared. Okay, it's 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 all here. Okay, okay. And then I have to hop in here. Uh oh, I already have a black flower over here, which is interesting. Uh let me grab the pestle and mortar, mystical black flower, turn that into more petals. Turn the petals into black dye and then we put the pestle and mortar back. Like so. Then we can quickly oh. just hop on back. What was that? What was my hotkey for my black back black back 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 pack? Uh, is it not just B by default? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is, and I'm just dum dum. Right, where did you leave the white die? Uh, it's still with me. Oh I'm in God. the sheet. Okay, well I've got bone meal, so it doesn't matter. I can turn. I can make my own white die. Right, mm. turn that into grey dye, and then to turn that from grey dye into light grey dye. I need more white dye, I believe, and I put those together, and that gives me light grey dye. And then what I can do with that is I can surround it with terracotta to make uh, light grey terracotta, which for some reason is just light brown. I can then EMC the light grey terracotta, leaving some of the wool left over so you don't lose it all. Uh, and then I can come and give you the brown terracotta. I've said terracotta so many times, it doesn't even sound like a word anymore. You know, that's not the first time you said this today. Isn't it? Huh. Also, I you're making this thing like, like a full block of wool, huh? What? You're making this like a, a thick block of wool. There's no, oh, yeah, there's so no the gaps. Monsters, so then monsters don't spawn in it. Oh, that's a smart idea. Because uh, how annoying would it be if every time we come to Guy we have to vividly remember what killed him? True, true, true. I know, uh, I know, it is. Hmm. You know what? We should just leave a tiny bit of space up here. Put a torch so that um, mobs can't spawn. And we can move Guy's remains into the head. We can. But just, just keep the original cross there, I guess. And then we can have his actual remains here. Yeah. I mean, we can... Since the cross will no longer have Guy's remains under it, we can move it to a more aesthetically pleasing place. <laughs> you, you, you're about to disrespect my boy Guy like that. No, I just think that now the land has been flattened, it just doesn't suit the environment oh, so anymore. So you think that because you take the land and you make it better, Listen, all of a sudden... I'm a human, he was a sheep. Why do I have so much Surtis Quartz I, in these how chests? How did I make it any more obvious? Where did it come from? What? I have 41 Surtis Quartz just by getting things out of that chest, and I sure as hell didn't put it there. Well, so that's where the Surtis Quartz went. <laughs> so yeah, that must have been where it all went. Right, God. um... I've got his chest, I've got his remains, I'm gonna go put it in his head. <laughs> I've just yeah, got up bro. close and because of the Sfax texture, <laughs> I just realized the terracotta blocks don't connect. <laughs> you know what? We, we can live with it. We can live with it because it actually looks better than whatever we were doing before. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, and then that goes there, I think. So, with the slightly yeah. wider mouth, it does kind of look like guys screaming in agony at all points. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's kind of how he how he died and lived. 
Yeah. But yeah. All right. Okay. We've got yeah. to go the sheep totem. Well, I mean, it's not we quite finished yet, but you know. Yeah. It, it's a callback for all those OGs. <laughs> <laughs> right. But now that that's finished, we can get rid of the shit shack totem. We now have a village teleportation system. You have yeah. to come all the way over so, here. To be fair, it might be a better to still keep the original shit shack one because it is kind of a pain in the ass to get up there. Well, I mean, we can fly, right? We don't need to pat. We don't need to make a path. We can fly. Uh, yeah. I Look, guess. we can we can put the thing back if we need to. But you I, know what? The, I, the, I kind of just thing, like having we make it there. A staircase. We make a staircase next session. <laughs> Yeah, all right. We can put a staircase next time then. <laughs> yeah, next next time. That I still not finished the uh, finished the head. Oh uh, well, I mean we can finish it now. We have still got five minutes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I thought we broke the door again for a second there because oh we, my God, that we, was pre weird. we pressed it at the same time. It was the worst start in any session we've ever had, including the time we broke the entire <laughs> server. Yeah, yeah, I God. remember that. Right, let God. me just, uh, let me get rid of that, there we go. Okay, now at the top of my thing is Guy's View. It does put me out facing the wrong way, so I am just going to quickly break and replace it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Guy's View. Uh, let's... There we go. You know what? I think I know exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to leave, like, a one, a small area open. Hmm. To be top of his head. And there's going to be... Can, can you give me a trap door? Uh, yeah, sure, I can go grab one. Actually, uh, oh wait, I don't have wood on me. I was going to say I could make one, but I need to go uh, get the wood. Uh, grab a couple of oak logs. Turn that into planks. Then I can philosopher's stone it into a trap door. There we go. Bish bash bosh, lovely jubbly, and I'm oh, on my way back. Hmm? And also some ladders if that's not too much of a problem. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Hold on. Uh, I, I have 63 sticks, so that's definitely not going to be an issue. Right, uh, wait, what the fuck? Oh yeah, they, f they fucking changed the ladder recipe in this version of the game, I forgot. What is it now? It's uh, it's a piece of wood in the center. Okay, that's not too bad. I can just stick that in there. And then I can do this. And there we go. Uh, 16 ladders. I know you probably only need like three, but here you go. And now we've got a nice, respectful, and tasteful memorial to our one best boy guy the whole series there we go there we go look that looks that looks good i actually really like it yeah it looks nice hell yeah hell yeah i think you're right the next thing we need to do is we add a path and a little staircase in the side of the mountain coming down but otherwise i like it it's a bit uneven <laughs> Now that I look a, at it. A bit, it's a bit off to the left. No, it's not off to the left. It's pushed back by... Oh, no. it's pushed back by so one. If, though if you come over here, it doesn't look that bad. It looks fine from the front. Hold on, are you all the way over at... Yeah, you're all the way over yeah, here. Yeah, like, if you come from here, like, the whole village looks really, like, cute. Yeah. Okay, well, I think after we're done recording, I'm just going to use the schematic cannon to push the sheep head a couple blocks forwards so that yeah. it's uh, completely centered on the totem. But otherwise, I think we've found a good place to end off this little session of ours. I know we didn't get any work done on the computer, but to be honest... We don't need to, we don't need to rush the computer. It's about the journey, after all, right? Yeah. Apart from apart from the crazy maniac who may or may not be trying to do something very bad to us, but aside from that, you know, it's very about minor the detail. Journey. It's about the journey. I genuinely think this marks a brand new start for us. 
We oh. ha we now instead of having just a little a little shack teleporter, we have a town beacon. We have a proper waypoint area. We do. Everything's just coming together nicely. Yep. Next up on the agenda, we add a, a, a little staircase in the side of the mountain. We wall off this area so things can't get in. We can light it up, or if I get far enough along in my astral sorcery, uh, I, there's actually a spell I can perform which will stop mobs from spawning in a certain area. And it will also sort of provide us with a little force field that would add us some extra protection. A force field? Yeah, um, space magic is very powerful. Uh, but otherwise, I think you should head back into the shack so that we can do our outro. Yes, I think that's very much a nice little ending to this session. Oh my god, I'm never doing that voice ever again. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Right then. Yeah, it is a bit. I think it's also rain. Yeah, it's raining heavily. Did you see yeah. the tree outside, by the way? The new one that I planted, the yellow Ooh. one. It looks very pretty. Ooh, it does. Mm. It but yeah. Anyway, so, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this session of Anadonia because it has been an absolute blast for me. And I hope it's been an absolute blast for Ruby as well. Um, oh, been amazing. Also, I know this is probably not going to come out for a while, so I might just be jinxing myself here when I say this. But I do want to say a quick thank you to all of you that are picking up the series now. Um, we, th th in this past week, we had a huge boost in viewership from like, uh, 16 views a video to averaging about 30 to 40, which is absolutely insane. So oh, again, mental. thank you for that. I'm, I'm genuinely really grateful. Um, thank you. yeah, but otherwise, um, if you want to see more from us, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever we upload, hit that little bell down below. Um, you can join our Discord if you want to say hi. Uh, we're pretty much always online, even if we're not entirely active. So, you know, if yeah. you just want to say hi, just shoot us a message in there and we'll we'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, uh, anything else I have to say? Oh yeah, everyone else's links are down in the description down below, such as Ruby's and the rest of the Outcast Studios family. Uh, but yeah, from me and from Ruby, uh, I'll see you later, shitlords. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. Hi. Sorry. Uh, before you go, uh, yeah, I know I just said goodbye and now I'm saying hi again, but uh, before you go, I, I do have something that I actually want to tack on at the end of this video. I would have tried to fit it into the video itself, but there honestly just wasn't any chance to do it organically, so I figure if I tag it on here at the end, it'd... Uh, it'd be the best option but after this session was recorded um i actually went in and did a small little time lapse uh of me sort of quote unquote fixing the uh, teleportation uh beacon thing um and i actually made a rather large change to the end design so i just want to tack that on here at the end because like i said there was really no way i could have put it in the video um but yeah so Thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, let's roll that time. <laughs>